Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by with this season three reloaded update. We obviously saw a pretty standard meta update take place within Warzone. We saw various different buffs and nerfs to a handful of weapons. And for whatever reason, one weapon in specific saw some updates that directly impacted a conversion kit for it that now makes it arguably the most broken weapon in the game. I fully believe this was not an intentional change and I would imagine very, very quickly this is going to be nerfed and adjusted in order to balance it out some because quite frankly, there's not much of a reason to be using anything else other than it right now, which is why I wanted to make this own standalone dedicated video for this. We will be breaking down like a full on top 10 and have the more standard loadouts and things that aren't ridiculously broken that are gonna obviously get nerfed featured in that later. But for now, all eyes are on one specific close range option so we're here on true game data as always shout out to tony for putting in the work getting us all this information so quickly after the update we've got some solid close range choices we know a lot of these smgs have been good or are good right now things like the wasp 9 uh getting buffed with season 3 reloaded the striker 9 has been good for a long time the base striker got some solid updates the hrm got a pretty severe nerf but i wanted to compare it on this graph to show the DG58 LSW, which, uh, you know, spoiler alert, that's what we're looking at here because you put on this Nightshade Rifle Kit, which is like the SMG kit for it that decreases the velocity, adds in control, but goes crazy on the mobility and the fire rate is a game changer. I also got the BP-50 on here as a close range rifle. And when we go through and look at 300 health and combination shots uh, for our time to kill, wow, uh, is this graph obvious or what? Yeah, all these SMGs and everything outside of the DG58. Boy, that's a competitive meta right there. Like you can pick, uh, you know, pick your poison, really. BP50, so good throughout. The HRM9, it got nerfed, but for close range could maybe be a little bit viable. The Striker is consistent. The Striker 9 is consistent. But I add back in the DG58 uh, LSW conversion kit. And uh, yeah, this is pretty broken. A 562 TTK at about 18, 19 meters compared to everything else, which is in the 600s, 700s, 800s. This thing is far and away. Now, realistically, you're not using this beyond 30 meters or so. It is close range based exclusively. The base DG58 is great, and we'll be covering that in a video uh, soon. So stay tuned for that. But it is actually nuts how disgusting this thing is in the close range right now. I've been seeing players fry with this thing all morning. Figured, hey, wait a second. We got to check the stats on this thing. What's going on? And uh, well, yeah, the stats back this up. This is, I think, in no way intentional. I think the DG58 LSW receiving a uh, buff to its base multipliers probably affected this in some strange way, I'd imagine, because this is broken. Like, exact definition of broken also just briefly comparing the mobility stats and the other base weapon stats should have done this in the general overview but was thinking about this as i was editing it it's kind of surprising that for an lmg conversion kit it's as consistent as it is with the movement across the board now you'll notice it's definitely slower than a lot of the smgs and those other main close range options in several places but also it's very competitive in others as well so you might think okay maybe it's got that crazy ttk the mobility will be the drawback here but even with the setup that we put on it's actually plenty capable of keeping pace for the most part with a lot of those other close range options while also obviously being able to outgun them all uh, regardless of range there so this thing is really checking the right boxes across the board for just being downright busted so let's jump in game and talk about some setups for this thing so as we jump into the loadout here quick reminder if you are new to the channel every day i got you covered with everything you need to know about call of duty whether it's news patch notes meta breakdowns you'll find it all right here so feel free to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date and if you enjoy this video or if you find it helpful do me a favor and drop a like on it much love as always to everyone who takes the time to do so so building this out first things first obviously you have to have this nightshade rifle kit on here which actually says it ends up hurting the damage but the advantage stats would say otherwise which is kind of strange here it obviously does kill that damage range and adds in more recoil but the mobility goes absolutely nuts here so you throw that on and surprisingly you're not all that limited with what you could run on this thing now you're not able to run a laser or a barrel here or an under barrel but you can definitely make do with the other attachments you have uh like for instance first and foremost a zem 35 compensator is going to be looking really good here cast this break could be a viable choice as well uh but you're only attacking horizontal there whereas at least with the zem 35 you're getting vertical and a little bit of horizontal minimal cons to your ads and your velocity that velo is going to be fine for our close range engagements here obviously we definitely want an extended mag however this is i think really the only drawback of this gun 
40 rounds is your max here and you got a pretty fast fire rate so you do burn through ammo if you had a 50 or a 60 i mean this thing would be otherworldly broken it's broken as is like we obviously saw the stats right but 40 rounds is at least going to limit it from causing complete and utter destruction it's just going to be like 95 percent utter destruction right so with that we're only left with a couple more attachments it really depends on how much you value an optic here personally i'm not a huge fan of these iron sights if we go through when you look at the uh you know firing range here they're kind of bulky they're a little bit awkward as you're firing now it's easy to use with these and this is a viable choice so if you're okay with those irons you can definitely get away with adding a little bit more to this i'd go for a stock first and foremost here uh recoil reduction butt plate's going to be great for added control and it's not going to do all that much for uh the cons here Her this mobility is not really a huge deal so you get some really good control for very minimal cons but then quite frankly i don't really feel like any other specific attachment is going to be a major standout you have certain combs that'll do a little bit like you can get some better sprint to fire in ads if you're okay with a slightly worse strafe and slightly worse aiming stability that's a viable option you could get some decent control out of here at least in terms of gun kick for minimal ads cons so you could run a comb if you wanted to you could run some rear grips as well there are some, some uh, specific ones for the aftermarket parts here like if you want a better sprint to fire at the cost of a little bit of control you can honestly trade this off pretty nicely uh with the stock on there adding in more control than what you're taking away with the rear grip and then this setup in particular is going to be pretty easy and pretty straightforward to use very low recoil and then getting out to the mid-range obviously you're able to hold your own i wouldn't be fighting at 40 50 60 meters with this build but for an lmg conversion kit it's got decent mobility it's definitely no smg but if you got your sights up and you're on somebody pretty quick ads all things considered and it does put players down with very minimal effort with the control not being all that bad that said you could also swap out this rear grip for you know an elo sight the aw1 gen optics pretty cool you could use a glassless a slate a nidar whatever you feel comfortable with there but this thing in particular goes absolutely nuts right now like i said i fully believe that this is a broken setup it's not meant to have this kind of damage that is significantly better than every other close range option in the game it likely will be nerfed in the coming days and when that happens i'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop uh but if you're looking for a use it now use it while it's broken gun look no further than this setup right here this is absolutely filthy and that being said that is going to wrap things up for this one so if you enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it it's always really appreciated and if you are new to the channel or you simply have not subscribed yet every day this is your one-stop shop for all things going on in cod so feel free to hit that sub button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out